Today's planned execution is getting pushback from people who believe capital punishment is wrong. Kelly Lance Kelly Vogt continues our team coverage with reaction from demonstrators. Kelly? Yeah, Don, at this hour, just a couple of signs and one uh, death penalty opponent remain in this area outside of the penitentiary. Now, earlier today, I counted about 25 people who were gathered here for a prayer vigil. Denny Davis doesn't support the death penalty under any circumstances. The director of South Dakotans for alternatives to the death penalty has even lobbied against it in Pierre. If we say that we're pro-life, then we need to be consistently for pro-life, even after the womb. Give us a day our daily bread. Davis took part in a vigil outside the state penitentiary today where prayer and song could be heard. Jesus, remember me. We remember the murder victims' family members who definitely are victims. But now we're making more victims. Lawrence Novotny joined the vigil too. The death penalty should be very, very rarely used. Yeah, and in this case, I don't think it's uh, it should not be used. So, Davis is calling on the state to be a quote example of human decency. When someone creates a violent act, and these murders are horrible acts, there's no question about it. But when we do the same thing to this person, the spiral just continues. The violence just continues. The South Dakota Catholic Conference also issued a statement today calling capital punishment unnecessary. You can read that full statement in this story on Kelloland.com. Reporting live in Sioux Falls, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News.